DJ Scratchy. Hi. DJ Junior. Scratchy Junior, everybody. Junior. Hi. <laughs> okay, Hi. so we're here to answer questions. Hi. They have questions for you. Mm, yeah. Would you like to officially tell them your name because they think they know you as baby boy never say your name mm. not because i don't want y'all to know his name but that's just who i am yeah. but if he wants to tell you guys his, your name now because so many times i'm editing videos and i say his name and i have to edit that out so do you want to say your name or do you want to be known as the baby boy still i can say my name what's your name officially I don't mean, not your whole name no, just the first one yes my name is grant with the G. Yeah, with a G. <laughs> you know, I will grant you any wish. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, my baby boy, everyone. So, the first question is from Drew Daly, which is my YouTube bestie, Tony Daly, her uh, husband. Hi, Tony Daly. And Drew. And Drew. Okay. Sorry. So, other than flying, superhero strength, or super speed, if you could bestow one superpower upon your mom, what would it be? Uh, so you can't say other than flying and super strength or super speed. You can't say them. Okay, I'd I'd give you the power of super healing. Mm, that's so, a good power. So you can um heal yourself. Or Is that damage you caused when you were born? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, so you can heal yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And other people, you know. So yeah. that's a good power to have. Yeah. What would I give you? He didn't ask me, but I'm just going to ask you. Okay. Anyway, a power I give you. Damn, I can't give you speed. I can't give you. I'll give you the power to control electronics. Oh, okay. That's cool. I can, <laughs> I can dig that. I can. Dig you would that. like that? Yeah, because <laughs> I can hack into anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. This one's from Jackie. I'm just Jackie. Shout out to you. Another Hi, YouTube Jackie. bestie. <laughs> Name your top three moments with your mom. Okay. Number one, where did we go? Oh, when she visited us in Barbados, she visited us. I in never visited you in Barbados. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Never did. You never did. Nope. She, she. I, I remember you visited. You visited me, but I never came to Barbados. You, we'd never been to Barbados together. Oh. I you was a baby in Barbados. You're probably remembering when you came to visit me in New oh, York. That was oh, probably good. Yeah. yeah, so I visited her in New York once. No, a couple of times, actually. My second time is when uh, and when it was the in summer, and it was um, the last three weeks of summer, I believe. My mom came over with um, my me and my family my aunt and stuff. My third moment was when we went to, ooh, um, I hop for my birthday. Ooh, mm -hmm. So good. Yes. Okay, moments for you. He just got accepted to his high school, his junior high school. I was so excited because, you know, that was like the first acceptance letter, so I was very proud. Um, I don't know, there's a lot of proud st um, top moments with him, like, you know, so I just can't. The question wasn't for me anyway. Mm. Anyhow. Oh, Drew again. Yay. Here he comes. <laughs> Would you rather be super strong, but super slow, like a snail, or super fast, but super weak, like a baby? So you're super strong, but you're yeah. slow. Um, I'd, I'd rather be... I guess super like strong and slow because I mean I mean I could still get places but not as fast but I can be super strong so I can like do anything so I can like lift a building you know I mean I could still get places but you know, like, yeah super strong and super slow what would you be? I'll be super fast. What, super weak? Yeah, because I'm so fast. Even if you're super strong, when are you going to catch me? Uh, I yeah. mean, if you do catch me, it'll be a problem. But I'm so fast. But I'm super slow, so, it, you know, yeah. I mean, it would it's like the hedgehog and that um, other guy. Yeah. Okay. Miss Chroma 81. Miss Chroma 81. 
Oh. I think. Miss Chrome. Uh, I guess. Yeah. Miss Chrome. 81. Yeah. If you could have dinner with any three famous people dead or alive, who would you choose and uh, why? Number one, Michael Jackson, obviously. <laughs> Not, that's my number one. Michael Jackson because, like, he, when I was little, I always used to dance to, well, I still do. Uh, I always used to dance to his own music. I still listen to it, even though he's dead. Um, he's a very, very um, good artist. King of pop, man. You gotta listen to him. Number two. Do I have any other... Um, I guess um, that guy from Maroon 5, Adam Levine, I think. Yeah. I like his music, um, like animals and stuff. Yeah. And uh, my third would um, probably be Rihanna because um, she's from Barbados and um, that'd be pretty cool. And, and she's hot. Yeah. Hey, hey. Don't, um, <laughs> you know. But hold on, but hold on. When when I was in Barbados, we there was a parade and apparently she was in the parade, but I didn't see her. But my aunt said that she was in the parade. Mm -hmm. I remember one of the parades, I don't know. But yeah, Rihanna, third. Don't tell her though. <laughs> No, tell her so she can invite us to the concert. Oh yeah, yeah, tell her. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, um my three. Uh <laughs> What is it? Dinner? Yeah, it's dinner. If I could have dinner. Bruno Mars. Oh, yeah. Because Bruno Mars makes me happy. No matter what, if I hear him, I'm going to dance to Bruno. So I know me and Bruno will have a cool dinner. We'll talk about some stuff, and that'd be good. Um, Bob Marley, because I listen to Bob Marley so much. It's ridiculous. Um, and he's Bob Marley, you know? So why wouldn't I want to talk to him? Um... Probably Beyonce, just to ask her why is she promoting staying with cheating husbands. Next. What's your favorite food and favorite book? Ooh, that, that's a hard one. Oh, wait, her name. Oh, she wanted us to do a video about raising a black boy. Afro Andrea. Hi, Afro Andrea. What's your favorite food and favorite book? That video is coming, by the way. Don't worry. Favorite food and favorite. That's a hard one. What's your I, favorite food? I, I I guess... Do you even I, have a favorite food? I know, food? <laughs> right? I, I guess I don't. But I guess, to put it, I guess ribs. Because I love oh, ribs. Yeah, you love ribs. I, I, can, I would eat some ribs. <laughs> some bacon. You know? <laughs> some bacon. That's Wayne Summers in the back, everyone. Yeah. Some bacon. Uh, my number three, I... I um, um, chicken. Not number three. It's what's your favorite food? I, your, I know. Oh, you're I, giving I three. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, I, and so ribs, yeah. bacon, and chicken. Yeah. Favorite book. All meats. I'm hold on. Favorite that. book. Um. When Dixie, maybe. Yeah, that was my no, That that would probably be my number three. My number one, I'd say, would be Harry Potter. And this is, this is actually a new book, and it's very interesting. It's called The Thief of Always. Um, it's a very cool book. Yeah. You should read it. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't have a favorite book, but if, I, if, if you want me to say what pops in my head, it's Zane Addicted. Isn't that ridiculous? But that book, <laughs> so bad. Um, favorite food, um, cuckoo, and red heron. And that is a Bayesian dish. So if you're Bayesian, you know what that is. Um, I go with Mexican. I love Mexican food. Tacos. Um, I love tacos. Too. Nachos. And just Mexican food is the shit. So, yeah. It also gives the shits. No, it does not give me the shits. Probably does me. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to do and place to be? My favorite thing to do would be to play video games. Or, or go on a computer or draw, cause I I love to draw, and um, I love video games and those are very cool things. What was the other thing? 
place to be? Where's your favorite place? Place to be. Where's my favorite place to be? I don't know. My oh, I guess Barbados, cause I mean, I kind of grew up there, and um, I miss the 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 seas and stuff. The island days. Yeah, yeah. And in, in New <laughs> York, in New York, huh? Well, it's surrounded by yeah, ocean, yeah. so if you come from that side, that's one beach. If you come from that, he knows what he means. You miss the beach. Yeah, the beach. Yeah, and um, there's also, I mean, in, in New York, this the um the the beaches in New York are all brown and nasty, green and stuff. But um, yeah, I miss them, um, Barbados. So that's your favorite place. Yeah. Place to be. Oh, we'll try to get you back there soon. Yes. Okay. You've seen me for a long time. Shut up. Um, my favorite thing to do is probably. Um... Oh my God! You hear my belly? I know. Yeah, I just heard that. I just heard that. Okay. I was wondering what that was. That's my belly. Okay. Favorite thing to do is probably be by myself, like shopping, eating. I like being by myself. I like being with people, but I love being by myself. So that's probably when I, whenever I get the chance to just go leave him, leave May Summers. Make, he's fine. Once he's fine, then the world is my my oyster. Yeah. So favorite favorite place probably Sephora. Oh yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> you can just stay there and play and come out with samples. It's the best. Barnes um, and Nobles too. You should um go there. That that's one of my favorite places too. How is how is Barnes and Nobles your favorite place? But your favorite thing to do is not reading. No no no. I uh, I, I okay. <laughs> think about uh, it. Grasshopper. But, I mean I mean but I love Barnes and Nobles. No, I know, but it's just weird. I'm just mm. pointing out that your favorite place is Barnes and Nobles. Yeah. But you never listed reading as one of your favorite things. Mm. But it is one of your favorite yeah, things. Yeah. You've been reading forever since yeah. forever. Reading is one. Of my um, uh, love compassionate Lee. So I guess her name is Lee, and she ended it. Hmm. What's hi, say hi? Yeah, I just said hi, Lee. What's been your happiest experience in life? Hmm. Hmm. So far. Yeah, so far. Um. Hmm. I guess coming to where I mean New York. Um, since like I came to New York, um, moving to yeah, New York, yeah, like moving to New York officially. So yeah, to live with your mommy. Yeah, to live with mommy. You know? That oh, was great. Pretty cool. Oh well, they, you said your name, so yeah. I can say it now. <laughs> yes, yes. You can say it now. <laughs> okay, so um, what's been my happiest experience in life? Um, I guess when people tell me how good he is. Because he drives me crazy. I'm his mother. So he drives me crazy and I see the things that you don't see. And when he pisses me off, you know, because he pisses me off. But when people, like when the principal pulls me aside or just you guys, whoever, you meet him or you see him and y'all just, oh, he's so sweet. He's so this. He's so that. So I know that I'm doing something right even if I know, if I feel like I'm not. So that's probably like, you know my happiest experience when people come and tell me how good he is and I'm like hmm? he's jealous because we're not yeah. even including him You're in anything jelly. we're not including <laughs> him in anything so he's jealous period um, that we're not saying our happiest experience is when we met with <laughs> <laughs> oh shit <laughs> okay Hater. Jelly. Drew Jelly. again. Drew with the third. Drew. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What's a great fiction book with tons of action and a great story? Not a lot of romance, though. So, like, he, he means, like, a fantasy book? That's he said fiction. What's a great fiction book? Tons of action and a great story. Not a lot of romance. Um... If if I would give you Harry Potter or <laughs> Percy Jackson, Percy Jackson and the Olympians, they got a lot of action in yeah, that. Yeah, they got a lot of action in that. I mean, a, a little romance, uh, uh, but um, Percy Jackson 
and the Olympians or Harry Potter. There's another the one. I forgot his name, but um, yeah, just those two. You you can um find a good adventure in those two with no, with not a lot of um romance. romance. Okay, I have that was his question. <laughs> okay, last question. Right. How is it having a mommy that is a YouTuber? Um. Um. Interesting. <laughs> I, I I'll give it that one. It's 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 interesting because like you never know who like like watches her. Cause like let's say me me and mommy just go out and just walk. A um, random person might say, "Hey, are you are you that YouTuber?" And like <laughs> you like you you, ne you never know, right? So it's a very interesting road to um to walk. I'd say. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I think that's it. Mm. Thank you so much for the questions. Yes. If you have any more questions, we can do this again, mm. right? Yeah, this was pretty fun. Uh, yeah. So any questions for the baby boy, Grant? Yes. Everybody meet Grant. 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 <laughs> I was gonna say I, was I know you know. Uh, but um, yeah. If you're interested, sit straight. Oh, yeah. mm. If you're interested, you were sitting slouched the whole time. Mm. Um. Just, you know, mm. holla at us. Yeah. DJ Scratchy and DJ Scratchy Jr. Yeah. Why is my name DJ Scratchy? Uh, I, my, I I got it because I scratch a lot. Uh, that's all yeah, I pretty much. I am a legit DJ. Come test me anytime. And my DJ sound clash name is DJ Scratchy. And Wayne Summers actually was DJ Itchy. And we were had battles, like sound clash battles. If you're a West Indian, then you know what I'm talking about. You know, the sound clash times. So, yeah, and I'm always like singing and like testing you with a rhythm. So, he's my son, so he's he could only be DJ Scratchy Jr. So, that's what our names are. Yeah, so yeah. So, thank you for watching. Mm. Yeah, don't forget you. to get face. Mm. Have a good day. Peace out. And stay. Jealous. So, we can build our thumbnail together. Mother and son united mm. together. Ooh, oh, if you're still on, how about, how about if you guys can make questions for me, Mommy, and Wayne Summers, because he seems a little left out, so <laughs> I'd advise that you guys uh, put in that extra, and, um... That's so sweet. See how sweet he is? Get him in there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so drop some questions because yeah. we we are going to do the video I about... be involved in nothing... Jealous. He does. He's, yeah. he, he's, he's, he wants to be down. He, he does. We know. Yeah, he does. But anyhow, um, I actually want to do... The, I'm actually going to do the Raising the Sun video. And um, here's my son. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to do it with Wayne Summers also. I was going to also talk to him also in the video too. Um, so it's going to be... That's going to be a good, interesting video because you're going to get my take, you're going to get the sun's take, you're going to get Wayne Summers' take on it. So, yeah, the raising the sun, I haven't forgotten. It's a video I actually want to do, so don't forget. Um, yeah, so we're done. Say bye, Wayne Summers. Your mother. <laughs> the huge. Yeah, that's his, that's his goodbye thing. But yeah, <laughs> bye. Good day.